think the next point of contention outside of that Rax is going to be Roshan Dendi. Ooh, look at this. Havos turning out wants to fight. Blows up FNG there. Too much damage for the Shaman to deal with. The question is, can they turn this one around? It's in chasing, but there's going to be the charge from Funnic flying past the Leshrak. And, well, Dendi's coming back into this fight. Havos, look at the damage that he's doing. It's going to be enough to bring down the Lesh. Lesh is going to be back very quickly at about 14 Bloodstone charges. G going in onto Funnic. And now with the curse onto G. This is looking very good for Navi if they can continue to fight. Havos is blinking forward very aggressively. We'll get held back by the telekinesis, but again, the embrace from Suneko, keeping her force alive for this fight. He's going to be able to blink himself away. Will they be able to pick him off? VP, they're kind of trapped up there by the Fisher. Triple kill for Illidan, though, as he just waltzes round, cleans up the side of Na'Vi. And at the end of the day, VP had nothing to worry about because the Leshrac is getting a little bit out of control. What are Na'Vi going to be able to do to stop this? BKB's going to be popped straight away, and wow, with the Earth Spitter, Fonta Artstyle, he's getting low, but Seneca's going to be there keeping him alive. It's not enough. The physical damage going through at the end of it all, and Dilligan's going to be on a dominating kill streak. The fight's kicking off. Phoenix Charge trade in. Her voice trying to do what he can with the BKB. Will be able to take down FNG. The Dream Call from Dendi just holding them back, but it doesn't really matter because VP, they want to continue to fight, and her voice just has to blink away, and G will just turn his attention back to the racks, and they might just find her voice is going to get caught out by the Split Earth, and why did oh. he BKB? That might be the nail in the coffin. Havos dying back, 90 seconds, and GG is called VP. They, they do it. 26 to 9. I mean, they just destroyed Na'Vi. Like, just, oh, oh, here comes the snowball. Oh, they want to continue this fight. Sonic Wave, they're coming through for Vunny, catching them both out. Arstyle's there, but he's got the Shallow Grave. They'll finally off the back of this. G now moving in, tag teaming him, and we'll find the Lightning Storm. And the split of one to two. And look at the pulse now, the damage. It's bringing Denny low. He'll find himself one kill. He's going to fight Vunny. He's going to fight Arstyle. Maybe not the heal. Buying Arstyle sometime. The Lightning Storm finally flies through. G there with a triple kill. Turning up to the fight and just destroying Na'Vi. The question is, can they kill him? He'll use the split of third to clear out the tree. Line. Be able to get himself through Polish as well. Havos moving through. He's got the Omni Slash. He's going to be enough. Yes, it is. Havos will find the Leshrac right kill off the back of it. And I mean, that is a dominating streak of Mohammed Gold going towards the Jug. But still, the fact that G was just able to waltz in and get himself a triple kill, Andy. Now put the snowball, be linking forward, Phobos going on to Havos, but just in time, the defensive disruption, the Shallow Grave as well, keeping the Juggernaut fine. VP unable to find the kill, they might actually lose Lil, and they will indeed, they're going to lose Lil. Juggernaut does end up dropping there as Illidan moves in, and Illidan, he wants to find more, going for Arstyle, with a double H from Phobos, they find themselves one, and the amount of pure damage that Illidan's doing is too much for Denny to hang around. He has to create himself a bit of distance between the two, backs himself up. Illidan, he might want to go back in, G setting this one up with a newly found Yul Septon, here we go, split up onto Suneko, with the Lightning Souls ban and the Pulse Nova. It's just too much. They might even find Denny here as well. Denny looking for the Requiem. Will bring down the Centaur. Now Denny's got the BKP just delivered out. Pops it. Wants to find G here with the raises. G will simply deny himself with the Bloodstone there. Does not want to fight up against this Shadow Fiend. And what a mess of a fight there, Draskal. Gonna walk in, they know that they're doing Roshan. Is the question who can come out on top of it? They don't have the global silence available. BKB's come out from Funny, and they will find the kill onto Suneko first. Denny trying to do what he can with the punches, bringing Lil low, but the telekinesis now from FG holding him in place. G still alive, taking a fair bit from a voice. The voice trying to run into this one. He'll go down, but he has got the ages. They've lost Dendi, they haven't got Suneko, and now the full lineup of VP. They're ready to go for round two on her voice. He's got the BKB, will try and do what he can. Phobos, meanwhile, picking off Artstyle onto the dazzle. funnick has got a blink away, and her voice just trying to find a kill. The silence onto Funny. GG. He's just going to get called 30 minutes in. VP again, just steamrolling RV. Here we go, straight in with a hook shot onto Dendi. They're trying to control it, but Havos actually catches out G here. Will bring down the Lina. This is big for the side of Na'Vi. Dendi plus the BKB, getting the punches through onto Lil, but Lil now with the stolen star P. Stampy, they're trying to turn it around. Snake gets the Echo Stab onto two. Can they bring down Illidan? They'll get Illidan as well. Three heroes dropping on VP. Now they might even find FNG here as well, and they will raise from Dendi. Finishes it off, and Na'Vi actually taking four heroes down, only losing Havos. What a fight for Na'Vi, considering the circumstances that they've been put in by themselves. Uh, Phobos, does he really want to do this? I mean, they're jumping into the side of Na'Vi, and the clockwork is going to get blown up. That's going to be Dendi on a killing spree. He'll just moving forward. But Havos now with a stampede. They want to try and continue this. Dendi incredibly low. 30 HP gets the record off. No, he doesn't. He ends up getting taken down with a flat cannon hits there from Illidan. Funny trying to man fight up. It doesn't matter. Echo oh. <laughs> Massive double kill for Sadeko. FNG going down. Goodness, that Echo Slam was good, Andy.
Oh, Elliton gets forced forward there by Na'Vi and now Havos getting him with the hoost on the double edge. Elliton getting loaded with the live striker and catching Funnick is slowing down the aggression for Na'Vi, but now the Scardi hits flying through. Funnick blinking forward. They'll take down Elliton. That's a dieback on your gyrocopter. G's in trouble as well. He'll blow up. Double kill for Dendi. Three heroes down at the moment. Neither G or Illidan with buyback available. They're going to lose FNG. It's only a little left standing. And Na'Vi slowly dismantling VP. They'll be able to take down a second tier three. Little there with the stolen double edge does bring down the dazzle. Like they're going to call it GG right GG. now. Na'Vi did it. Na'Vi, they're going to take it to a game four here in this best of five series. Illidan moving forward, looking for the D-Ward. Now Funny coming forward again, the Burrow Strike onto Lil as well. Dead he's been trapped the other side of the Fissure and Havorst it with the ultimate form, maybe trying to find this, but they're all getting incredibly low. Dendi will be kept alive here by the Cold Embrace, but Illidan, he's getting taken down. They will find the kill of the Drow Ranger. Now Funny with the Burrow Strike onto two, he's going to make a second kill happen. FNG falling as well. G going up to the high ground, trying to fight up against Alstar, but G's going to lose his life. It's a double kill for Dendi. Phobos, the only one to remain alive. He might find the kill onto Funny. Can he? Oh, Funny there with a the Sandstorm just in time. Phobos has to all down to the low ground, and Na'Vi taking a very convincing fight there. They maybe want to try and look to go deeper and try and find the fight that we have. Fisher holding back the wolf, but now G getting caught out here on the shadow fin, and he's just going to evaporate there to the damage from Na'Vi. So all assumption onto a voice, but a voice is going to continue to chase. Arstar getting low here, the Dream Cold controlling him, but against Saneko, keeping him alive here with the embrace. Arstar so low, Echo Sound will come out, but it's a double kill for her voice. He's just cleaning up here, find Illidan as well, making it a triple kill. Funny blinks forward, they want to find FNG as well here by the looks of it, and they will do indeed with a burrow strike. Ultra kill for a voice. Oh no, he's not going to be a rampage. He's trying to chase down the Visage, and he might just find it here with the walls, bringing him alone. No, it's going to hold him back there. The two familiars now to reset the walls. They're going to chase it. I think Lil gets away from this one, but still an ultra kill for her boast in the mid lane. Again, Na'Vi, what a fight. G finds her boast. Is a Vos getting himself away? They've got the Dream Call of Vos. He could be in a bit of a spot of a bother here, but Artstar coming back in. It's Suneko Phonic finding the Burrow Strike onto Phobos. There'll be the Ghost coming out from Illidan. Phobos incredibly low, and Illidan trying to turn onto Phonic. But he's going to be kept alive here as he yields it himself up into the air. Plus the Sandstorm, it won't be enough. They do pick off the Sand King. Now the Wolves and a Vos, they're looking for Illidan. They're looking for Lil. Artstar and Suneko chasing this one down. Now the Blast, Blast flying over to Illidan. They'll pick off the Drow Ranger. And now with the disruption onto Lil, that's going to be another kill for Na'Vi as they take down the Drow and the Visage, and G, G is called. We're going to game five, Andy. All the TP's coming back now. Now we're going to smoke up straight away, but it's going dispelled by FNG here with his Flimmer Cape, trying to get out his Fiends Crypt. Won't be there. Arstyle's got the disruption to break it up, and now going in, they might be able to find the FNG there. Will they find FNG here on the bait? And now Danny Big Four, there's your Echo Snap for Suneko. Three heroes dropping as a double kill for Funnick. He's not trying to try and clear against the Who Stop and the double edge onto the Force. They'll bring down Arstyle as well. They do find two in return. Suneko's able to get himself out. Dandy and Funnick, but now Funnick with the epic enter onto Phobos. Fisher for Suneko. Dandy goes in. With the way he rips, it's only in the left to life. He tries to stampede out, but they're controlling him here. Funny should have a burst strike in a minute. The double edge, bringing it onto low. He finds himself a kill, but he's a pay with his life. It's a team fight, and VP hit the decks, and Na'Vi turn up to the fight in full force. Let's see if Na'Vi can contest this one. It's going to be quite a slow roast until G starts punching. Funny going forward, gets the burst strike onto FNG. This is big if they can control the Bane. Bane won't be able to get any of the Fiend scripts out. Suneko going forward. He's got the Echo Slam now. He's still waiting to use it. Holding himself place with the Yules. Where's the Echo Slam? He's going to need to try and get it. No, he's going to get himself out. In fact, now they're going to find the kills of the Shadow Demon. Now Suneko getting the Echo Slam. The tree call out to free. FNG falling oh in. Getting off the high ground. G so low as well. FNG trying to find a nightmare, but he won't find it now. Illidan finds the stop to Suneko. Suneko's going to get pulled down. He does have buyback. They still have Epicent. They still have Echo Snap, but now they've lost Dendi. Dendi will buy back for this one. Burrow Strike on to do it. There's your Echo Snap for Suneko. They'll find the Fisher as well. They break down the Aegis on the Shadow Fiend. Lil will drop as well. Can they kill his SF for second time round? G, he's got the BKB here for round two. Illidan the will damage. get that moved up. But look at the right clicks here for G. It's too much. Her force has now died back. They won't even kill Illidan. It's a double kill for G. Make that more triple Good kill. Game. GG has been called and VP are your Dream League Season 3 champions.